when in, you know, the end of an era at the University of Alabama, your alma mater, Nick Saban, retiring, just kind of talk about what he meant to your career and just what it's going to be like without him there. Uh, I'm, I'm happy he's retired. Uh, he, I'm happy he get a chance to um, experience the fruits of his labor. I'm happy he get a chance to um, just relax and just, I guess, uh, get a chance to see all the things that he's done that's good outside of football, outside of coaching, just because uh, it's funny because when he retired, I was uh, like, I got to be the first one again to come to an NFL game, one of my games, basically, uh, to see because uh, he got a lot of players in the NFL that he's coaching. To get a chance to travel and see these guys in person now is a, is a big thing I think he, he'll really love. So um, I'm happy he's retired. I'm happy he's doing what he loves. He's healthy. Um, but I know the University of Alabama is going to miss him. So. Having participated in this event last year, what have you told your brother specifically about this event and the techniques to help kind of prepare him as he comes in his first year? Uh, no matter what size fish you catch, it's a whole nother different ball game when you're reeling it in. Like I caught a small fish last year, but it felt like it was a, a fish about the size of me on the other end. And uh, the technique that they was using, man, is unbelievable because I believe a, uh, a lady on the team that I was on last year caught a fish that was like, uh, I believe it was like 180 some pounds, but she was only like 115 pounds, I think. She, so it was like, how could you catch that by yourself for four hours? So it's like uh, the techniques that she taught me, the things that she told me, I was just relating to my brother. And I hope he don't catch the 180 pounds. I want to be the one to catch the 180 pounds or something. I ain't give him too many techniques. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Donald is for it. <laughs> Aaron Donald's retired. You know, you signed a, a, a mega contract extension in 2023. And, um, is there a player that you kind of model your game after now, or do you think that you're ascending as one of the best defensive tackles in the league? Obviously, guys like you and Chris Jones, you know, Jeffrey Simmons is out here. You guys are all kind of at the top right now. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Donald retired, and I always tell people, thank Aaron Donald no matter what, because he, he made the defensive tackle position sexy. Like, he made the position – um, what it is to this day, uh, a need as an aspect of um, not just run stoppers, not just people that in the middle just clogging up holes, but a position that they can take over games, a position that um, can rush the pass and stop the run and can, uh, affect the game each and every down. So um, he wanted to make that position in my era, in my generation, uh, made that position uh, amazing again. And I just Thank him for laying that red carpet out for guys like me, Jeffrey Simmons, um, and guys even after me and before me um, to, to play that position. But um, I feel like I'm heading in the right direction to being one of the top guys. 